you're like me, you have broken keys on your keyboard and you want to uh, make them work again. Take apart the keyboard, all the screws are on the bottom of the keyboard. I've already taken it apart. Uh, I'm assuming that you're already to that point. All the screws are on the bottom, just make sure you mark which ones go where, there's a lot of screws. The keyboard will, will kind of rest in here. You'll flip it over after you've unscrewed it, you'll open the lid, and you'll notice there's a cord here preventing this from completely coming off, plus these cords are connected. Just find something to lean it against. These are plugged into here, you're just gonna uns unsnap this. Keep in mind this is underneath it. So you'd unsnap these two cords, unsnap this cord, that's three cords, remove this, this would come with it, and then you're gonna unscrew this piece with it too and set that aside. So you have two things you gotta clean. One are the connectors underneath here. Um, so it's this little rubber piece. This is kinda, and you press that, that's what activates the trigger for the, whatever it is. Um, there's a little con connection points. What I did is I took uh, some alcohol and a cotton swab and kind of cleaned them all. I've already done that. Um, and then I took like a little pointy object that I had and uh, putting to putting the piece back together, you just kind of push in the little pieces and then pull them out from the side so it's nice and tight. But yeah, this whole thing you can take off and clean. And so that part is clean now. Uh, it's probably gonna be a lot of, uh, believe it or not, dust, uh, hair, uh, dead skin from years of putting your fingers on there. Um, but you wanna get to the meat of it where there's uh, a lot of obstruction in your keys. Uh, you wanna take these keys off. Um, just on these keys right here, I found a mess of lint, hair, you know, garbage that was just kicking it right there preventing my keys from really pressing all the way down. Uh, so anyway, what you're gonna do is gonna take a pair of pliers and um, you take off the spring like that. It's kind of scary at first. You're like, oh, am I gonna break it? But you're not gonna break it. And then using a forward motion towards you, you're going to pull the key just like that. And you're gonna feel like you're gonna break it, but it's not gonna break, trust me, hopefully not. Um, and you just keep doing that the whole way. I've already undone some of the screws here, so I'll just keep going down the line. Um, if you notice, this black key is gonna be harder to do than this white key because the white key is blocking it. So I'll do the white key first and then the black key. I'm going to clean all of this out and clean these connections. Clean. I, I don't even think these are connections. These are just like, uh, I don't know what they are, to be honest. Oh, you know what, it's probably a connection because it's connected to this thing. So yeah, I'm basically gonna clean this out um, and then I'm gonna put it all back together in reverse order. You know, to put it back together, we're just going to uh, snap, the, snap these guys in. These two little things right here, you're gonna line it up with those two things, put it in there and then just snap it in. But yeah, just go in reverse order and you'll be able to figure it out and uh, hopefully when you turn it on, it works. Um, that's all I got for you. I'm pretty sure if that doesn't work, sorry, go, go buy a new keyboard.